Yo, what is going on? Sen Gang Senkai here. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to get all the way to the last rank of comp, which is Shinden. Basically the best rank, you know, you know, Radiant and Valorant, stuff like that. So it's literally the Valorant thing. But I want to teach you it. Uh, I'm not really going to show you how to do it because it is based on how you do, how good you do at PvP. But I will tell you, like, one of the best three, I believe, in my opinion, are one of the best that you obviously can use to kill people based on, like, you know... Their versatility uh how much damage they do you know how quick it is stuff like that but before i do start this video guys if you guys are new to this channel make sure you guys subscribe like up this video and join join up my discord server down below in the description as well as turn on post notifications for you know more videos as well but yeah i just spent like i just did like what a rank before and i was that thing took me like five minutes to kill this guy with narumaki it really depends on your opponent and how good you are pvp like i said before if you are against a really hard opponent then that's really hard for you to do it but using these three characters that i'm about to go through will make your day or make you know your rank better i guess like it's really easy guys trust me and yeah i hope you guys enjoy enjoy this video let's get straight into it all right guys so once you are in comp i want you to select these two or these three narumaki boromaki and satori kuma he's somewhere here i'm pretty sure you guys can use uh, my fourth one is probably Shindai Kuma, I'd say, but yeah, he got really debuffed. I'd say Satori, this guy, Satori Kuma, Narumaki, and Boromaki. It doesn't really matter. You can choose any of those. Like, I chose, I choose Narumaki, but I can show you guys with Boromaki as well. But I'm gonna show you guys why Boromaki is basically that. So if you just click your person, you know, select team. Oh, oh well, mm, mm. uh, well, uh, okay, it makes sense. Anyways, hi right, guys. Now, the reason I choose Barmaki, Narmaki, and Satori is because their moves are very versatile. So, this guy's obviously choosing Narmaki. That's how you know how it's good. I'm telling you guys, people will choose Narmaki against you. You have to utilize with Barmaki your Vanishing Rasengan. So, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, stun him again. Throw it at, the, at him at that. You know, that range, it's auto track. So, it's really good. And you can also use, you know, your specs like that. This one is really OP as well. Like, they're all ranged. This one's literally Gale. Watch this. And it's just like, I don't know, it's, it just depends on how you do PvP, like I said. Because the moves that, you know, Barmaki has and Narumaki are, are like high damaging. Do a lot of damage, yeah, basically in that. Like, see Narumaki's clones? If you chose Narumaki, clones like re are really good at keeping space between you. But you want to know how to use your um, Resident Shuriken Rush and stuff like that. Like, this guy doesn't know how to use it, so he's not really good at it. But you know what I'm trying to say, basically know when to use your moves it's just these three characters are the best so since i'm bursting my you know basic dad on this like see like he's it doesn't matter if, if, if you put two against each other either one of them is gonna win boromaki or narumaki because they're all both op but once you go into mode narumaki out of the three are insanely good because the damage bro like you can kill like i'm just saying you can kill half or you know get a half a, get a life and a half just by um using narumaki's uh move and it's just really op because look at this with boromaki he's really op as well because his moves are just spammable and you can dodge if you know how make sure to utilize your chakra jumps like that and you should be good like honestly from like if you put it between narumaki and boromaki it just depends on the person yet again but overall like I can defeat him. He can probably defeat me just depending on how you go with it and your moves. Like, I can throw this at him. I hit him right there. See, look at that range. I didn't even have to go near him as much. Our Sense Shuriken Rush is still good, but it just takes a longer time to, you know, get there instead of um, the Vanishing Rasengan. Look at that. With Barmaki, I was able to kill Narumaki. Maybe it's because of the skill disparity, but like I said, once he goes into mode, I'm probably done for if he knows how to hit his, his shots right, his moves right, because his... His mode is insanely overpowered, guys. Narumaki's mode is insanely overpowered. And, like, when I, when I say I mean it, I mean it because it does the most damage in this game. And I don't feel like any other... Like maybe maybe Sasuke's injures arrows, but his moves don't do as much damage. And this guy right here, like, he's doing a bad job of, you know, trying to kill me. He's not using... He's not using, um... What do you call that? Resen, Resen Shuriken Rush closer. He's giving me time to prepare for it, basically. Which is really bad in this part, so... 
I will teach you guys how to like how to each uh, do each person's I base I guess to help you. But with Barmaki, you you're ranged. You're most like you're mostly ranged, dude. The only one you have in um close range is you know when you're in mode and the F move, which is the Gale Spirit Bomb. But make sure to like I said, vitalize your your chakra jumps if you even have any. They're really OP. But you want to focus on range. You want to focus on range, and that's what you want to do with Barmaki because he's really really good at it. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get him here. Look at that, he's in the corner. This is what this is what you do. He's in the corner, right? Look at that. In the corner. And you can also do this when he's in the corner. He has nothing to do here. Throw that at him. And boom, that's range. That's all you gotta do with Boromaki. Keep your space between everyone. You see that Recent Shuriken Rush? Go oh, I messed that up. But usually you just dodge it up, go up or something. He can't do nothing. You see Recent Shuriken Rush? Easy dodgeable. Dodgeable because he used it too far from the person. But you see me? That's fine. You know. I missed that. That's fine too. You know, sometimes you miss, sometimes you hit it. But you can still do that. Like all this guy's doing is really jumping, bro. That's all this guy's doing. Like it's all about that dodge, man. It's all about that dodge, guys. Like easily with Bormaki or even Narmaki. OP as heck. Look at that. Oh, this guy's gonna go there. Oh, I just use that. Wow, that is exactly fine. Look at that. Look at that. Just easy, just like that. Here you go. Shock him. Gale Flash Storm. That's a good combo you can use, and he's about to die. Oh. Alright, there we go. You can't use anything once he's in that. You can either go up top of there. You can use your environment, you know. Make your environment your your B, basically. But I'm just saying, with Barmaki, just focus with that. And then, yeah, you should be able to beat your opponent if you focus on ranged and dodging, obviously. But that was Barmaki. Let's basically move on to Narmaki now. I'll show you guys how good Narmaki is if you know how to use him right. But yeah, I forgot to tell you guys about, you know, the form. Before we go to Narmaki, obviously, with your form, you want to be able to use your um your moves added to advantage. So, you know, this one, that is more of like an area shock effect. And then with that, you can use this, your R move, obviously. You just want to find basically a combo with all your moves, you know. So you see that. Obviously, this range yet again, everything is usually ranged. This F move right here, that's ranged. You know, you can put it all there, follow his tracking, stuff like that, you know. Here, this one's range as well. Track him like that. There we go. Look at that. Easy stuff. And it's just overall with Boromaki's range. Boromaki's more of a range. Some are melee, but most of it is range, guys. But yeah, that's basically how you attack somebody. This one's to shock them in there. You can use it close. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and go to Monarmaki. Alright, guys. And you already know the second person is going to be the GOAT Naruto. And with Naruto. This guy's move, especially his ultimate, you are able, if you can time it right, to take two lives. If you time it right, like I said. Basically, what you want to do is kill the person first. Obviously, that's how you get your mode. So, no one will have mode on the first half. And, bro, we on the same team. But, yeah, guys, with uh, Naramaki, you do want to utilize, basically, close range more than range. So, basically, you know, this guy is really close range. So, it's more of, like, whoever hits it right. But... If you get to use your um your essential can closer and your essential can rush or throw, it, it's gonna be way better for you. Trust me. Like these guys are not as good as you think they are. Um, like this guy's using prism shiver, I think one of those guys, but or whatever the fast dude. But they aren't really as good, you know. Like it's if you know how to dodge, then you're good. Like trust me, guys, your clones are what you really need for you know attacking. This guy's really really aggro. When I say aggro, this guy's like really, really aggro, bro. Like, but look at that. You close range and you are sure to kill somebody. Look at this. Easy stuff. He can't do nothing. He used all his chakra. Just dodge and use all your moves correctly and you will win, yo. You will win. Uh, Well, guys, I was trying to show you guys what to do in mode, but for some reason that they were selling. But basically, I'm going to teach you guys what you should really do in mode Um, with Narumaki. Basically... When you are fighting somebody, you want to utilize closeness and range, like a mix of it. Usually you want to play close because your, you know, your M1 spec is really good, obviously. Your moves are really good. So usually when they use an attack, you have and you have enough time, especially if like they're a ranged unit, you wanna use your V move as close to like like that. Because you automatically teleport to them and whatever they're hitting or shooting at you will be missed unless it's auto track. And that's really good because you can just get free like 56k damage, 40k damage on them. And the second move is this. This one, this you want to be used at mid range because of how OP the throw is. It's it's trackable. You throw it first of all, and you want to like dash around and just go to the ground. Like 
so you dodge it so you know you go in the air a bit longer and your last move you want to use it when they are either in a cornered section not in the middle of nowhere i mean you want you can use it if you want to cycle through it you can use it anywhere it's not you know i'm not saying you don't use it all but to use it when they're cornered makes it way better because as you can see if you use it it slows them down inside of it and that's where your rmbc's moves comes or your g move in the game you can use it in their corner that does a lot of damage and by the time you're done that you can cycle back to your first one and maybe even your second one if i'm correct so your second move and they should be dead just like that Obviously, you know, if you if you weaken them on their second life, they should have been dead like after the second move. And after that, you could have killed them for a third move. But yeah, basically that's with Narumaki. And it's the same thing with, you know, software guys. Like any, basically any of the companions, basically anyone. I'm just saying guys, those are my top three choices to use, which is Narumaki, Barumaki, Satori uh, Maki. Um, you can use Prism Shipper if you want as well. That's really good. But overall, in the end, it depends on how good your PvP skill, your game sense is. And stuff like that so i'm just I'm like for the beginners out there if you want to go to frail if you want to go to um savory bronze whatever bronze diamond whatever you call it i don't even know shinden then i recommend you guys you know basically like if you don't know who to choose go with narmaki barumaki satori and then as you go on through time be better at them and overall you know you can always obviously in time get the best rank now you can always you can you guys can always choose any of the other uh, persons on any of the other people. It don't really matter. I'm just saying for the people that want to get it easily done, you know, Narumaki and Boromaki and Satori are one of the easiest ones to master. Therefore, easy for you to you know come up with combos and skills. But there's not really much combos to go on since you you have a set base. Like all the other companions, they're pretty nice. But I just recommend Narumaki, Boromaki, Satori, Prism Shiver, I guess, for fourth place. Just stuff like that. Just You guys can choose whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It's just what I recommend. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and, and if you guys found it informational, make sure you guys like up this video. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, turn on post notifications as well so you know whenever I post a video. Without further ado, that's be all for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Senkai out to the Senkang. And have a good day slash night. Deuces.